Time now for your forewarn weather with Garrett James. And Garrett, I know that you were covering that piece. Were you surprised by the results that they were sharing when you were out there? Honestly, I, I was a tad surprised, especially when you look at the Pine Valley Mountains. However, if you look everywhere else, because it's not just the Pine Valleys that are seeing the snow, it makes sense. And once you get just north of St. George and once you get north of Hurricane, that's where you really start to see a lot of that snowpack taking place. But like it was mentioned, another round of wintry weather, it's on the way and we've got another fresh set of winter alerts going into effect. Six o'clock Tuesday morning for the northern mountains and that's gonna last until six o'clock in the evening on Wednesday. However, for the central and for the southern mountains, we're gonna see that go into effect three o'clock tomorrow afternoon and last until six o'clock in the evening on Wednesday. Potential accumulations around six to 12 inches for most mountains, but upwards of 18 inches and maybe even heavier isolated in a few spots. But the heaviest is going to be taking place on Tuesday and it is going to lead to some winter driving conditions. Let's go ahead and take a look at the radar right now. We can see there is a little bit of precipitation out there, mainly in the eastern part of the state and far eastern counties at that. But a lot of what we're seeing is very light and and if we take a look at the upper level future cast, we can see there's that quick little system, just that quick little hitter that moved through the area. But we're going to be tracking what was really defined as a bowling ball low pressure system. And that's because of how fast it sinks from the north and it sinks heavy like a bowling ball. Who would have imagined that? But we can see quickly behind it, high pressure is going to be building back in once we get to the weekend and into the beginning of next week, which could lead to maybe a little bit of a calming forecast heading into the beginning of next week. So future cast shows for the remainder of the evening. It does show those showers just to the east. Those are going to move out of the area pretty quickly. But once we get to tomorrow around 11 o'clock in the morning, we can see that next round of wintry weather is going to begin, especially in the northern part of the state. But by the time we get to the evening and overnight portion, that's when we start to see that move a little bit further to the south, closer to Cedar City and Bryan Head. But by the time we get to Wednesday, things looking like we're going to see another round by the afternoon and overnight hours will start to clear up just a little bit, but we're not going to completely clear out as that low pressure system. It's going to be hanging around the southern portion of the state, allowing for more wintry weather to take place. But we will see that clear up by the weekend and we'll be drying up and clearing out by Saturday and Sunday. So let's take a look at travel impacts. We can see along I-15, there are a few spots of moderate to high travel impacts, and it's mainly going to take place Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Temperatures out there right now, we can see 32 Evanston, but 66 St. George, 49 in Provo. And temperatures tonight show the 20s, 30s, and even the low 40s for a couple places. But highs tomorrow in the 30s for Evanston, but mainly in the 50s across the state. For the Wasatch Front, over the next seven days, we see rain tomorrow, but scattered rain and snow Wednesday with temperatures dropping about 10 degrees. But take a look at Monday for the Wasatch Front. 60 degrees, not too bad. St. George, on the other hand, going to stay in the 60s for the next couple of days, but once that rain kicks in, temperatures will drop to the 50s, and then by Monday, maybe the 70s.